Hi, oh, Steve. Hi. Recently, Johnny Depp pranked his wife, Amber Heard, by having her pulled over by the cops on the show Overhauling. Uh-huh. You know, being the jokester that you are, I kind of wondered, have you ever pulled a prank like that or a prank similar on Marjorie? And how exactly did she like it? Nope. Can't have my wife pulled over by no damn police. <laughs> and she find out it was me? No. See, plus, I can't play with Marjorie. Cause, see, Marjorie play too much. Every April Fool, here come, and she get me every year. First time, I hadn't seen my wife in about two and a half weeks. So I get a plane, I fly in, surprise her, and I'm coming from the airport, and I call her, I say, hey, baby, what's up? Now, my assistant had told her that I was gonna surprise her. <laughs> my assistant is like pouring water in your hands. She can't hold it. <laughs> So I go, hey, baby, uh, where you at? She said, oh, no, no, I'm in Paris. <laughs> I said, you, you in Paris? What, what you doing in Paris? She said, me and the girls just got up and just went on a girls trip. We're in Paris. <laughs> she said, you should come. I can't come, I got a job. <laughs> and so I said, you can go where you want to go, you with your friends. I got a job, I kind of got to go to work. I came, I came home to surprise you. You ain't even here. I said, that's messed up. I said, wow. Why didn't you tell me you was going? How you leave the country and don't tell me? We don't do that. You don't leave the country. You can go to your girlfriend's house. You can't leave the country and don't tell me. That's a damn path. I'm going through all of this right here. I'm all the way till we get to the gate. I drive up to the front door. I'm on the phone just now. She opened up the door. Surprise! <laughs> She listened to me for 15 minutes. Oh, I was letting her have it, man. <laughs> the next year, see, she don't stop. Steve, I really need to talk to you. Oh my God, I have to talk to you. So I could tell in her voice something was wrong and she said, I just came from the doctor. And I said, oh, oh. Lord Jesus. I said, babe, what's wrong? She said, oh, Steve, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Steve, are you there? I said, what you mean you pregnant? She said, wait a minute. What is that tone in your voice? I said, what, what tone? She said, you're not happy? I said, so baby, what? You know, tears coming down my face. <laughs> I'm in trouble. She goes, well, Steve, you know, I know you're probably thinking about how old you are and everything, but, you know, Michael Douglas just had a baby. I ain't white! <laughs> I said, all right, baby. So I sat down, collapsed, I hung the phone up. She said, well, I just don't want to talk to you anymore about it. So I tried to get myself together so I can be all right about this pregnancy. So about five minutes later, she picked the phone up. She said, baby, I said, hey, baby. She said, April Fool! So I said, damn, baby. So I called her back in a couple hours. I said, baby, you sure you ain't pregnant? <laughs> she said, I'm positive. I said, damn, I got to call these people back. She said, what? I said, I was putting the baby on the black market and we're gonna get $2 million. <laughs> she said, get your ass off this phone. You ain't putting no baby of mine on no black market. April Fool. Hey, folks, welcome. Uh, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss a single hot new video, some really good stuff. And then I want you to click here to see more clips from the show right now.